Hello friends. So today we are gonna learn the Laplace transform of derivative property. So what is Laplace transform of derivative? So let me tell you that when we have Laplace of f dash of t or Laplace of f double dash of t or Laplace of f triple dash of t. So what is this f dash of t or f double dash of t? So it is nothing but derivative of f of t with respect to t. So here I'll write that derivative of f of t with respect to t is given as f dash of t. Similarly, the second order derivative of f of t is called as f double dash of t. So as we are finding Laplace of derivative of function of t that is f dash of t. Hence this property is called as Laplace transform of derivatives. So the rule says that Laplace of f dash of t is equal to minus f of 0 plus s Laplace of f of t or Laplace of second order derivative of f of t or f double dash of t is equal to minus f dash of 0 minus s f of 0 plus s square Laplace of f of t. But now question is how to prove this property. So I'll start with the first property. So we want to prove that Laplace of f dash of t is equal to given result. So here I'll start with the definition of Laplace transform. So according to the definition of Laplace transform, L of f dash of t is nothing but integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into that function. Here the function is f dash of t into dt. Now to get this value, I will find out the integration of these two terms by using the integration by parts rule. So here I can say that this e raised to term, I'll consider it as u and this f dash of t as v and I'll apply integration by parts. So here I'll say by integration by parts will get this as e raised to minus st into integration of f dash of t minus integration of derivative of u that is e raised to minus st into minus s into integration of v that is integration of f dash of t dt and this whole dt. So here I have applied the formula of integration of uv as u integration of v minus integration of derivative of u into integration of v dt. Now let's evaluate this. So here we will get e raised to minus st and the value of f dash of t or I will say integration of f dash of t is f of t minus now I can take this minus s outside since it is a constant so outside will get plus s in integration will get integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st and integration of f dash of t with respect to t is f of t dt and we'll say that limit is from 0 to infinity. Now we'll substitute the upper and lower limit in the function. So here if you see that we here got the value of integration but here still we have the integration sign and if we'll see this then the second term is nothing but it is the definition of Laplace transform. So here I can substitute it is equal to Laplace of f of t. And here we'll substitute upper and lower limit because here we have evaluated the integration. So here I will I'll say that it is equal to e raised to minus st into f of t from 0 to infinity. So I'm applying this limit for the first term plus s. It is constant. I'll take it outside into integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. Now by applying upper limit as infinity here we will get e raised to minus infinity and we know that e raised to minus infinity is equal to 0. 
so we'll get first term as zero minus if i'll substitute now lower limit as zero so here we'll get e raised to zero into f of zero plus s and this step is nothing but laplace of function of t by the definition of laplace transform so now e raised to zero is one so this will be minus f of zero plus s laplace of function of t and guys we got the value of laplace of f dash of t so we have proved that laplace of f dash of t is equal to minus f of zero plus s laplace of f of t here now to prove the second property we'll use the same method so i'll start with laplace of f double dash of t and i'll proceed with the integration so here i'll say this as equation number one now let's find out laplace of f double dash of t so by the definition of laplace transform it is integration zero to infinity e raised to minus st f double dash of t dt and now by integration we will get e raised to minus st as it is so i'm considering this as u and this as v so integration zero to infinity f double dash of t dt minus integration zero to infinity the derivative of this term is e raised to minus st into minus s into integration zero to infinity f double dash of t dt the whole dt and we'll apply the limits from zero to infinity now e raised to minus st as it is the integration of f double dash of t is f dash of t here we'll substitute the limit from zero to infinity minus minus plus s integration zero to infinity e raised to minus st so here integration of f double dash of t is f dash of t dt now if you see the second term then it is matching with the definition of laplace transform so here we can see that it is equal to laplace of f dash of t so here by substituting upper and lower limit we'll get e raised to minus infinity minus by substituting lower limit we'll get e raised to zero and f dash of zero plus s and this integration is definition of laplace transform so it is laplace of f dash of t so therefore it is equal to now e raised to minus infinity is zero e raised to zero is one so this is minus f dash of zero plus s and the value of laplace of f dash of t from equation number one is minus f of zero plus s laplace of f of t so here i'll substitute it is equal to minus of f of zero plus s into laplace of f of t so by multiplying this bracket with s we will get minus f dash of zero minus s f of zero plus s square laplace of f of t and guys here we have proved the second result that is laplace of f double dash of t is equal to minus f dash of zero minus s f of zero plus s square laplace of f of t so here we have proved the property of laplace transform of derivative thank you